So hello everyone, and this is part two of proving uh, inclusion exclusion principle. Uh, so I want to prove this formula, and basically idea of proving this formula for three sets, it's going to be the same idea of proving this formula for n sets. So let's show how to prove this formula. Uh, in previous video, I proved that if I will take a union b, it equals uh, cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. And right now, I want to think about how to prove this formula when I'm adding the third subset into this formula. So what I'm going to do, let's just write this formula uh, for, uh, let's write A union B union C. So I will have A union B union c yeah, and you can you can see that we have three elements but what we can do how we can apply this formula we can apply by using some small trick called substitution and let's name this element d let's be union c going to be another set b and what i will get i will get that uh, uh, a union b union c equals a union D, where D is B union C. And then I'm going to apply this formula. And then we'll get it's equal uh, cardinality of A plus cardinality of D and minus cardinality of A intersection B. A intersection D, sorry. Okay. And right now I can see I have my A and I have these two factors. So you can think all other factors I'm going to get from these two factors. So let's first analyze what is my uh, cardinality of D. And cardinality of D is just equal cardinality of B union C. And what is cardinality of B union C? I'm applying the same formula. It's going to be cardinality of B plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of B minus intersection C. Aha! Uh -huh. And you can see right now when you express D as B union C, we will get one, two, three, four, five. We're going to get five factors in the right hand side. So the rest of the factors we're going to get from this, uh, from this term, A intersection B. So let's figure out what is A intersection D. A intersection D is just, uh, where is it? It's going to be A intersection B union C. And here I'm going to use distributive law for set. And I will get it's equal to A intersection B uh, union A intersection C. And again, I got uh, the formula when I have two sets. So in this case, I can write this as A intersection B plus A intersection C and minus A intersection B intersection A intersection C. Okay. And you can see right now, what we are left, we left just, uh, okay, so first thing, uh, if we have A intersection A, we can just uh, write this as A intersection B intersection C. The fact that I have minus sign here, I'm going to change minus sign here. So it's going to be minus, this is going to be equal to minus, this is minus, and this is plus. This is equal to. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this formula as A union B union C equals to, okay, uh, cardinality of A plus D will give me cardinality of B plus cardinality of C. Okay, good. 
uh, and plus uh, and D also gonna give me a cardi minus the cardinality B intersection C negative A intersection D will give me the next two terms they will give me minus cardinality inter A intersection B and minus cardinality A intersection C and the last term I will add cardinality of A intersection B intersection C and I proved my formula and the way how I prove it it's the main principle of proof in mathematics and doing mathematics if you have a problem you try to simplify problem to simpler case you solving simpler case and you, then you using simpler case to solve more difficult case so in this case the, un, uh, the cardinality of union of three sets uh, I simplified as uh, union of cardinality of two sets like here and here 